You're already spending so much time, effort, energy on getting booked appointments for your agency, not optimizing those appointments and getting them pre-qualified and maximizing the show rate is insane. In fact, it's probably some of the lowest hanging fruit that you have in your agency. Because even if you increased it by 10%, you're doing 10 calls every single month. That's an extra sales call that you basically generated out of thin air. And the cool thing is you only have to set this up one time because what we're doing is we're using automations and also in those automations if you have case studies if you have testimonials if you have proof and it's not very hard to get those you can also include it so it gets your sales calls and it gets your leads pre-sold before they ever speak to you before they ever meet you on Zoom and then they're way more excited to speak to you. You're not just some random internet guy, but you're actually someone that they can know, like, and trust. Look, when I was first getting started on running ads to my agency, we were running Facebook ads and we were spending anywhere from $60 to about $120 per booked appointment. And I know that might seem like it's pretty expensive to you, but it's actually quite cheap because I was closing at about 20 to 30% of those booked appointments. So if we had, let's say roughly a thousand dollar budget, I was still making two to three sales and our minimum price is 1,500 per month. And what that means is that I could spend a thousand dollars per month on ads and then get back $3,000 per month on the very first month. Now we had a three month minimum. So then obviously people would stay on for, you know, three plus months and keep paying. But one of the issues that I had in the beginning was my show up rates. Now in my niche and in my industry of construction, look, sometimes these guys are on a roof. Sometimes they have a hammer in their hand and they're on the floor of a bathroom, right? Nailing something in. Sometimes they're in a truck and they're driving Sometimes they're just doing 10 million different things. These guys are kind of all over the place. Getting them to show up and sit down and give me their undivided attention on Zoom so I can actually pitch them was a bit of a challenge. And by doing some of the stuff that I'm gonna share with you in this video, I was able to increase our show rate and also increase our conversions so we were able to make more money and more sales from the same amount of ad spend. Now, again, even if you're not running ads to your agency, this could be true on your email outreach or your social media outreach, whatever it is that you're doing to get clients, this will increase the amount of meetings that you get from your existing efforts. Sometimes clients aren't even trying to ignore you. They genuinely have something that came up in their business, right? These are business owners and they are extremely busy. They have 10 million different things. They have a bunch of staff. They have salespeople. They have a front desk person. They have to manage so much stuff that's going on. So by having automations in place, emails, SMS, or maybe it's even having a virtual assistant call them the day of and just say, Hey, Bob, it's so and so just want to confirm our appointment for later today. Just wanted to make sure you're available. Wanted to make sure that you have the Zoom link and everything is all set and doing something so simple will pre qualify them. So well. the way I see it is if you are not getting a very good show up rate on your meetings, then you can have one of two problems or maybe you have both. The first problem is that you are not selling the demo call correctly. The client is viewing you as another salesperson, as someone that's reaching out to them. Them, that's going to show them some crazy presentation, give them a price and try to hard close them. The way you want to sell the demo call from my experience of doing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sales calls is you want to sell it as almost like a consultation call. You want to sell it as being extremely valuable for them as the business owner. And they genuinely should walk away knowing something that they didn't know before. Meaning you pull up their Google reviews, you pull up their competitors, Google reviews, and you just simply show them the contrast, right? It's called gap selling. So you widen the gap. They have seven reviews. Their competitors have 77 reviews. You show them where they're lacking. Maybe you pull up their website and you show them their website form is completely broken. Maybe you show them the phone number is outdated. Maybe you show them that it doesn't look good on mobile, right? You, you pull it up on your cell phone and it doesn't look good. All of this is very valuable for the business owner, right? Regardless of you, this is good information for them to know. Plus, it will also help you close more sales because they're selling themselves. They know they have to get this fixed and they're probably gonna be a little bit upset that someone from their team or their current agency didn't notice this before. Look, if you want all of our workflows, all of our appointment meeting reminders pre-built, done for you, so you can just copy and paste into your account, then you can check out the free course down below. I also show exactly how we run 
on paid ads for the agency to get appointments and exactly what we do and say to make sales. It's completely free. You can check that out down below. If you don't have Go High Level yet, we also have a 30-day trial link so you can sign up and get instant access to everything I just mentioned. And the second issue is that you are simply not sending them enough reminders. They're too busy, they forgot, and they simply just needed a reminder. So here's exactly how I like to fix these issues. As soon as we book a client on a demo call, I automatically send them a text and I say, hey, Bob, hey, Joe, just got you confirmed for X time. Please add it to your calendar. Let me know by responding with a quick yes that this time works for you. Then once they respond yes, I want them to send me a text message that says yes. Once they respond yes, I say, okay, great, thank you. And what this does is it double verifies that they have your phone number, one, right? They got your text message. And two, it verifies that they know and they understand that you have that meeting. The next notification that I like to set, now depending on how far away it's booked, you can do a notification two days before and then one for 24 hours before. I say, hey, John, super excited for a call in a day. I'm putting everything together. I have some crazy stuff that I'd love to share with you on this call that I found about your competitors, right? This is super powerful. Again, we are selling the call. Then what I like to do is notify them the same day. So first thing in the morning, I want the client to wake up and to start going to work and see my text. Hey, John, super excited for our meeting today at 4 p.m. And I'm very excited to show you what I found. You wanna give them something to look forward to. You wanna show them that you actually put in some effort and this isn't just some cookie cutter sales presentation that you're showing to everyone in town. You wanna to make it hyper specific to them. Then you also wanna text them four hours before, and then I like to text them 10 minutes before. And I'll say, hey, John, looking forward to our meeting in 10 minutes. I'm loading up Zoom right now. Do you have the Zoom link? And by the way, you also wanna email them the Zoom link a second time. Now, if this seems like it's a lot of work, it's truly not. You just have to set up the automations within Go Eye Level and it can automate all of this for you. And then also in the meantime, when it comes to emails, you can keep sending them proof, case studies, testimonials. I love videos, send them video links, show them how you've gotten results and what other clients have said about you. Having testimonials and case studies and reviews, everyone knows that's important, but most people just put them on their website and leave it there. No, you want to follow up with that call with all of that proof. Think about it. Would you have an easier or a harder time closing sales if a client watched a bunch of your case studies, watched your testimonials, or looked at your reviews? Well, it would be much easier. And I actually noticed that on all of my sales calls that if someone said that they watched my case study and I even asked them, hey, did you see this case study? Did you see that case study? What did you think about it? And what I've noticed is the people that actually sat down to watch a case study, maybe it's on their phone, maybe they watched 10 seconds of it, maybe 30 seconds of it, the fact that they clicked on it and saw me talking to someone else and that client was sharing their screen or maybe they were just telling me about the sales that they made. This showed me this lead was much higher quality. They were much more likely to close and they always did. And this had me really excited and I knew this was gonna be a high quality sales call. And the cool thing is, is you can also do this to clients even if you don't close them, right? You can have follow-up campaigns that send them case studies, new case studies, old testimonials, whatever it is that you have, you can drip sequence it out into the future. So that way you're always top of mind because maybe it is true. They have other things going on in that moment and they're just not ready to move forward. It doesn't mean that they're not interested. So you wanna keep following up via email. If you're interested in how we are booking meetings and actually getting clients from organic, I'm gonna link a video right here so you can check that out next.